Here's what you can do in order to improve battery life on Samsung Galaxy A25 5G. We're gonna start with the basics. So what you can do is open the settings and go to battery settings. It is recommended to use the power saving mode from time to time. You can also decide what should happen if the power saving mode is enabled. However, we can also use the adaptive power saving mode, which can be found by tapping on these three dots in the top right corner. By enabling this option, the device will learn the usage uh, or it will create a pattern of the usage of your device and then it will turn on and off the power saving mode based on your usage. In addition to that, it is of course recommended to enable battery protection. The ideal, I think, option is adaptive because it allows you to uh, fix the drain issue or prevent the battery drain issue in the future uh, without limiting yourself. So what it does is uh, if you are asleep, you uh, use the maximum battery protection, which stops charging when you reach 80%. But when you are not asleep, uh, you will use the basic um, battery protection, which allows you to charge the battery to 100%. But if it is charged to 100%, it stops charging until you drop back down to 95%. So if you tend to uh, charge your device and then leave it with the charger even though it is fully charged and then it is definitely recommended to use the battery protection. Use adaptive if you want to be uh, quite flexible and not restrictive but if you want to fully uh, prevent the issue or maximize the um, prevention of uh, battery drain issue in the future then definitely use maximum battery protection instead. Another thing that you can do besides the battery settings is turn off always on display. So in the settings, go to lock screen and AOD. Over here we have always on display and you can simply turn it off. This definitely helps you keep the battery for a little bit longer. Now, while still being in the settings, we can, of course, disable Wi-Fi, disable Bluetooth, disable NFC when we not need it. So use those only when you are in a situation where you actually use it. For instance, when you are outside of your home and you don't have Wi-Fi connection, then there is no point of keeping Wi-Fi mode enabled or module or whatever. So when you are outside, just turn off Wi-Fi and use the mobile data. And if you are at home, on the other hand, then of course you can disable the mobile data and keep using Wi-Fi instead. So this is of course recommended. The same goes with Bluetooth. One, uh, when you don't have any Bluetooth device connected to your phone, there is no point of keeping this enabled. Besides that, we also have location, which can also be disabled when you don't need it. Of course, location is needed for certain apps. However, if you don't use these apps at the moment, then you can turn it off. And the same goes with Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning in location services. They can pretty much always be disabled. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye!